Hey everybody, from the Air Age Studios in Connecticut, I'm Joe Kelly Jr. for Diecast X Magazine. You know, many champs has made a name for themselves at 143rd by providing some very reasonably priced and very highly detailed diecast. And these two, well, they're pretty cool. These are a Porsche 908 from the 1969 running of Le Mans and the brand new, still in development, 918 concept car. Both of these models are beautifully shaped, which is not always easy to do in die cast. Mini Champs routinely gets away with it, really crisp casting with a lot of nice detail pieces. Like this Porsche, this is the Langheck version. Langheck is German for long tail. They had to develop that tail because the cars were completely unstable at high speed. This tail, very much like an airplane's tail, kept the car tracking straight on long distance and high speed courses. Of course, shorter tails were used for road courses. No matter what tail they use, these models come out very, very nicely. Very impressive wheel detailing on these with the brake discs behind them. Beautiful headlight detailing with crystal clear covers, more clear plastic used of course for the windshield and this very distinctive rear window just above the engine. Full cockpit detailing, substantial weight to this if you like a heavy die cast model and just an overall level of excellence that's really good value at around $50 on the market. Now, that's the old school. This is the new school, the 918, a concept car that's really been followed closely by a lot of Porsche files. Hybrid power, electric and gas, makes about 750 horsepower. On the model, it's really all there. These beautiful wheels on this car with the green calibers behind them. You can see the carbon fiber detailing for the brake discs. And of course, on this one, being an open spider, you get to see the interior detailing. Really nice piping around the seats, full on dashboard detailing, all of the little bits that make these models really intriguing to the eye and a great value for their price point. Both of them currently available on the market, running between $50 and $60. Definitely ones you want to check into if you like 43rd Diecast. Well, for Diecast X Magazine, I'm Joe Kelly Jr. We'll see you on the shelves.